Welcome to Celestial Chronicles. Today, we're diving into the intriguing world of the Watchers, as described in the Book of Enoch. Welcome to the intriguing world of the Book of Enoch. This ancient text, dating back to 300 BC, isn't part of the official religious texts in many religions, but it's a captivating read nonetheless. It's an old Jewish document that still holds significance in some Christian and Jewish practices today. The book is named after Enoch, a figure who is also mentioned in the book of Genesis. He's known as Noah's ancestor. One of the most interesting aspects of the book of Enoch is the introduction of the Watchers. These are angelic beings, referred to as both the sons of God and the sons of heaven. The Watchers, also known as the Grigory and Enoch II, were angels with a special mission. They were supposed to observe human development, but they were strictly forbidden from interfering with human life. However, as the human population grew and their daughters became increasingly beautiful, the Watchers were drawn in. They couldn't resist the temptation and decided to take these women as their own, directly going against their mandate. This act of defiance against God resulted in the birth of the Nephilim, a unique hybrid of angel and human. These giant beings started to consume everything humans had built and even started fighting amongst themselves. But the Watchers didn't stop at just interfering with mankind. They went a step further and taught human secrets about the heavens and life that were not meant for them, leading to further corruption. One of the Watchers, named Azazel, even taught humans about warfare and how to use weapons. This tale from the Book of Enoch gives us a glimpse into a world where angels betray God, leading to chaos and corruption on Earth. It's a fascinating exploration of morality, temptation, and the consequences of defiance. Witnessing the turmoil on Earth, the four archangels, Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, and Uriel, approached God. They pointed out that Azazel and Sinjaza, the leader of the Watchers, were responsible for this chaos. They had taught human sorcery and were behind the creation of the Nephilim, a hybrid race of angel and human. God, in response, gave each of the archangels a specific task. Iriel was sent to Noah with a warning about a great flood that was about to wipe out life on earth. Raphael was given the duty to bind Azazel, the one who had taught humans about warfare, and cast him into eternal darkness. Gabriel was assigned the task of eliminating the Nephilim, the offspring of the Watchers and human women. These beings had caused much destruction and needed to be stopped. Lastly, Michael, known for his courage and power, was sent to confront Simjaza, the leader of the Watchers who had first decided to defy God's command. This tale from the Book of Enoch gives us a glimpse into a world where angels betray God, leading to chaos and corruption on Earth. It's a fascinating exploration of morality, temptation, and the consequences of defiance. The Watchers, once heavenly beings, found themselves chained to the Earth, their peace shattered. They were left in sorrow, mourning the loss of their offspring. These angelic beings, who had once watched over humanity, were now confined to Earth, their freedom lost. They were sentenced to remain in this state of imprisonment until the Day of Judgment. On that day, they would face the ultimate punishment, being cast into the unending fires of Hell. This story of the Watchers is a profound tale filled with deep themes. It explores the consequences of betrayal, as these heavenly beings defied their divine duties. It delves into the concept of morality, showing the dire results of giving in to desire and ambition. This narrative provides a unique perspective on the concept of sin and its repercussions. It's not just about the actions that constitute a sin, but also about the ripple effects that these actions can have. Moreover, the tale gives us a glimpse into the power of the archangels, the divine beings tasked with maintaining order. It also highlights the potency of evil, showing how even the purest of beings can fall from grace. In essence, the story of the Watchers serves as a stark reminder of the delicate balance between good and evil, and the consequences that come with disrupting this balance. What are your thoughts on the Watchers? Do you have any stories about them from other religious texts? Do you think texts like these should get more attention? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Celestial Chronicles for more on angels and demons. Hit that bell icon to stay notified. Until next time.